Texas Viper owner Deanne Rao was delighted to see her dream come true roll off the line at Connor Avenue Assembly Plant in Detroit on Thursday. You're kind of in shock because I realize it's my car, but still it's, it's, un, it's a little bit unbelievable it's still at this point, but it's an awesome looking car. After all, she's not only the proud owner of this 2010 Dodge Viper Coupe, but had a big hand in helping put her own design stamp on this truly one-of-a-kind vehicle. All of our owners are passionate Viper people, but, but Deanne is something special. She, has a, she will have, by the end of the year, over 50 Vipers. Uh, nobody, I've never seen anything like it, and she loves every one of them like children. And I met with her uh, on my birthday. She came to my birthday party because we have a really close relationship with our owners, and um, she asked me if there's any way she could get the last card. I'm like, well, if anyone deserves it, it's you. But there was one stipulation, it had to be special. So it is by far the most uh, customized uh, Viper ever. And this year alone, in, the, in 2010, uh, we've done more custom edition Vipers or special edition Vipers than we have in the entire run of the vehicle since uh, 1992. Nearly 400 of Rao's fellow Viper Club of America members also made the trip to Connor Avenue to join her in celebrating the unique event. Come for the car, but you stay for the people. Uh, you really join the club because of the cars. The cars are gorgeous. Uh, you know, all of us are, uh, you know, want to be out there and pretend we're movie stars occasionally or drive really fast in the track or just enjoy a true exotic, which is what the Viper represents. And then suddenly you join the club and you find all these great people. And you've seen a few around today and they're just amazing. And, and to be able to consider them as part of your family is just a huge, huge deal. So it's a passion not only for the vehicle, but all the people that are part of the club. It's just an amazing group. I think the, the, the gratifying thing is that there's so many enthusiasts and People have really embraced it, and I think the whole idea of keeping it relatively scarce, keeping it as an image icon for the company, uh, keeping the caricature uh, very strong. I mean, even the second generation, which was done just before I left, uh, you know, we kept the caricature of the car and just made improvements, but not trying to make it a, a technical piece as much as we were just trying to make it an honest performance piece that was low volume and always be treasured. Four generations of Viper production later and the passion for these iconic cars and vehicles across the Dodge brand continues to generate excitement. That's what makes Viper owners so unique. I mean it, the, the whole the Mopar thing, the Dodge thing gets under their skin and they, up, they end up uh, joining uh, the Dodge family. I mean they end up driving Dodge Rams, uh, uh, vehicles, minivans, whatever and some people have uh, independent businesses and they fleet, they, they, their entire fleet are Dodge vehicles or even Chrysler Group vehicles so yes it's a great relationship and these are people that are dyed in the wool, um, very proud owners, very proud Americans so uh, our hats off to them. Reporting for Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Betty Carrier Newman.